What's up guys, it's JT, also known as Casting Customs. Today, we are going to be painting a pike whopper plopper. Pretty interesting, it's like a whopper plopper with this tail back here. Um, but it is shaped as a pike. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, we're going to be doing just a pike pattern on it. It's not, not much you can do with a pike pattern, or with a pike-shaped bait and not pike it. So, we're going to pike it, if that makes any sense. So, we're going to start by spraying yellow on the sides, the top, and the other side but not on the bottom. All right, and just like that, we're good. You can leave the tail alone for now. Um, we're gonna leave it just white right now. Um, but, so what you wanna do now is switch to a brown um, it can be as dark of a brown as you want. Um, I'm just gonna grab like a sapia. Oh, I have golden high flow sapia, it's gonna work well. And we're gonna spray it on the top, like dark right here, and have that fade all the way down the sides. So it's not gonna stay a yellow like this. It's gonna turn into more of a brownish. All right, now you have the basic outline of that. Go ahead and flip it to the top. Make it so it's like perfectly even with your hand and then just spray black down it. Or, or, I mean brown. Okay, and there you go. Now you have that nice fade from yellow to brown. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and heat set this. Okay, at this point it's already heat set, and I mixed up a combination of white and yellow to make this nice tan color. And I'm using the tip of a pencil to dip it in the paint, and then make random like lines and splatters on the bait. So, just like right here, just dip it in, and then just random in, a quen, in one quick motion, make a little line, splotch, whatever you want to call it. And you want to do like two or three rows of these, just randomly. Not every line should be in the same order, or like the same angle. You want to make it random because it's random in nature. It is very, very, very important to heat set it before you flip it over to the other side. Otherwise, those splotches are going to get crushed and it's going to get paint everywhere because the paint's a little bit thicker when you paint it on. Um, so you have to make sure it's really heat set well or else it's going to get ruined. All right, same exact thing on the other side. Once both sides are dry, go ahead and put it back on the helping hands because we're gonna paint a little bit on the bottom. All right, for this last part, we're gonna take care of any overspray we might have had by spraying white onto the bottom of the bait, and that's gonna get rid of any yellow or brown that's gotten on there. So just spray white all over the bottom, and it'll fade up a little bit, but you wanna make sure that it's a nice, pure, clean white on that bottom, or belly. The next part is that thin, um, you want to spray black onto it, you can already see the outline. Basically what I'm going to do, so I don't get any black on the white belly, is to tape it off, just like so. And then, um, I'm going to go ahead and very carefully spray black onto that little gill outline. I actually don't know if it's like a gill or a fin, but you get the point. So just like this, carefully spraying black, and then you'll take that tape off and there won't be any black on the white.
I wasn't able to capture this on the camera, but basically spray opaque red on the lips by taping them off and then spraying red. At this point your lure is done and all it needs is eyes and clear coat. Here's the finished lure. As you can see, pretty similar on both sides, just randomness helps with that. And yeah, we have a really great looking pike bait. So. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope this was a unique but nice tutorial for you guys. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.